Hey kids, it's Mr. Flyer here, hope you're well. Now when it comes to electronics on motorcycles, I'm very much a less is more sort of a person. I'm a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to electronics. Other than ABS and traction control, I wish they were left well alone. And the same goes for TFTs as well. And I think that uh, some of the TFT displays that Triumph have produced recently just come up short. That is until this bike came along, the Triumph Trident. I think this might change everything. Stick around and stay tuned, I'll tell you why I think that. So when I say I particularly dislike Triumph TFTs, specifically, what TFTs am I talking about? Well, really, it's the first one that they came up with, which was the TFT on the Street Triple, which just looks toyish to me. And at the same time that they came up with that, they also came up with that uh, joystick control, which is really fiddly to use, and it's not particularly intuitive either. I also particularly dislike the improved version of the TFTs that they fitted to the Big Scramblers and the Rocket 3. To me, they look like a child's computer game from the noughties and it spoils an otherwise beautiful looking couple of bikes. I think the Triumph would have been much better if they fitted the twin Dars from uh, the T120 or the Speed Twin, say. Now I can certainly understand why manufacturers like TFTs. In these days of more complex bikes, you can get more information on a TFT display. Things like riding modes and all that other stuff uh, you can definitely get on a TFT. They're probably cheaper to make as well, and maybe even uh, they're more reliable. Only time will tell on that one. So I suspect TFTs are here to stay. So why then can't Triumph get this right when other manufacturers can? And in particular when I say other manufacturers, I'm really thinking BMW, which to my mind have the class leading TFTs. Their TFTs are the best in the business. They're workmanlike, they're intuitive to use, they look beautiful, uh, and they've really got it absolutely sorted. Well, I think Triumph have listened, and they have uh, this time absolutely cracked it with the new Triumph Trident. The display on that is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a closer look. So how does it work then? Let me show you uh, the device in action. One thing I have noticed about this bike actually, now I've brought it in the garage, is how noisy it is when you turn it on. Let's just, just have a little listen. When I swish her on, it does the usual start-up routine, and then you're left with this noise. Can you hear that in the background? I thought it was a pump or something that it runs and then stops, but it doesn't seem to stop. We'll see as we go on whether that happens. But uh, yeah, sorry about that background noise. Anyway, we're right here for the TFT, so let's have a little look then. This is it uh, close up, what she looks like. I hope it's not too, you can see that through the reflections. Let's see if I can get a half decent angle on it. But in terms of how it works, let's see if I can show you the TFT and the, and the, and the button. So here we are, look, this is the setting that shows you how bright it is. So at the moment it's on two out of the whole lot. I think we can simply, oops. I lose the left button, there we go, look, I can just click the left button and it goes up to its full brightness, click the right one and down like that. And then if you use the up and down buttons here, that's how you cycle through the features. So I hit the down button and uh, you see it takes us to the standard display with the clock, the gear position indicator and the date. Down again, uh, it takes you to the uh, main menu uh, and if I go down again, we can see that we've got the various trips on there and the time again. Uh, there's all the fuel state. This, if you're running, that would actually give you a range to go as well. Again, I hope you can see that through the reflections. That's maybe one thing that's not so good about the TFT. It is a bit reflective. Maybe Speedo Angels can fix that with a matte screen. Uh, here, next one, we can see we've got a temperature gauge at the moment. The bike's not run, uh, so obviously it's cold. Um, and moving along and then back to the, uh, the service interval there, shows you what date it needs to be serviced uh, and what mileage. This bike, as you can see, only just, uh, well, barely running, really. Uh, and then back to the display that shows the brightness. While we're looking at the display, I'm thrilled to see that on here, look, we've got a proper uh, fuel gauge, which is absolutely great news and not all Triumphs have that. So uh, yeah, the bike basically, gosh, it is noisy. Let's turn it off, see if you can hear the difference. Oh, peace. So yeah, so that TFT, I think it looks clear. It's really easy to use. I like the buttons on the handlebar um, and it, it's just in keeping with the bike. So uh, big thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. So there we are, I think Triumph have absolutely cracked it with this terrific TFT on the Triumph Trident, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, wouldn't it be great if on some of those other bikes where they haven't got such good TFTs, the big scramblers, the Rocket 3, uh, maybe in future iter iterations we got to see something a bit more akin to what we see on the Trident on those bikes too, because it really is a premium bit of kit, I really like what they've done with this. Wouldn't it be even better if they could come up with dual dials in chrome housings that maybe had analogue representations of gauges on them when you wanted them, and then when you press the various mode buttons, they changed over to other, all the other menu functions. I don't know, something to think about. About maybe. What do you think? Anyway, I'd love to hear in the comments below uh, whether you think uh, I'm right about this or whether you think TFTs are fine or whether you prefer analog instruments or whatever. Be fascinated to hear. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That's it for now. Just a little uh, little bonus video that I thought was worth mentioning. I'm always uh, having a go about Triumph TFT, so I thought it was time I put the record straight. I think this time they've really uh, hit it out of the park, as our uh, American cousins say. Anyway, look forward to speaking to you again soon. If you've not done so already, do hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you on the next video. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio.
Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, I'm not a massive fan of electronics on bikes, in particular TFTs. Now, in fact, I'm a bit of a dinosaur, other than ABS and tra- Let's do that again. And uh, one of the other things I'm not keen uh, about uh, when it- This is rubbish. Some are okay, but some of them get it disastrously, disastrously, oh, goodness me.